Hello and welcome to GameRules.com. My name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to play Electronic Battleship Reloaded. Let's dive in and learn how to play. To set up Electronic Battleship Reloaded, you'll need to unfold the board, insert the grid into the top. Each player will get these cardboard inserts which explain the advanced weapons and how many hits each ship takes. They slot right into your console. And then each player will get one of each ship, five ships total for each player. And then you will have to split the hit and miss pieces up so each player has half. Looking at the console itself, you can see the input selectors for the coordinates that you wish to fire, a fire button right here in the center. And then on player one side, there are three buttons at the top. The first one allows you to use the advanced weapons if you're playing in the advanced mode. The middle one allows you to repeat whatever the computer just said in case you missed it. And the third button is volume control. Once you have the board put together, each player will then place their ships. There are two ways to do that. You can do it manually, entering one ship at a time, or you can use these preset cards. There are eight different cards. They are double-sided, and you can orient the cards four different ways to have the ships laid out as you please. For this game, I'm going to use the preset H3 layout. Let's go ahead and get the game turned on. Greetings. Commander, from TV, put dials to select the number of players, then press fire to confirm. For this demonstration of the classic game, I'm going to go ahead and play against the computer. The only difference being that the computer will automatically set up their ships and aim at me and fire on its own, but you will still get to see how it works from your perspective as the first player. So we're going to go ahead and set it to one player and fire. One player game selected. Press fire to confirm. Commander, choose your ship layout. Select one for preset layout. Or select two for custom layout, then press fire to confirm. We'll go ahead and use the preset layout H3. Preset layout selected, press fire to confirm. Commander, select a preset layout, then press fire to confirm. Preset layout selected, press fire to confirm. And just to show you, in case you missed what the computer said, you can hit repeat. Preset layout selected. Press fire to confirm. The battle has begun. Commander, one on your turn. Put coordinates to fire. Awaiting orders, Commander. So I get to go first. And just like with classic Battleship, I'm going to pit, pick a coordinate. I'll go ahead and stick with H3 and fire. Target locked on. Ready to fire at H3. It gives you a chance to think over your turn one last time before you hit fire again to confirm. Yes, at H3. Target acquired. Ready to strike at A2. <laughs> Miss the computer took their turn. I missed, so I marked H3 with a miss piece. They fired at me and missed. It is important to make sure that you matched your layout exactly, because if you mess up your layout even just a little bit, it throws off the entire game. Let's go ahead and go to E4. Fire. Target locked on. Ready to fire. At E4. Now let's say I didn't want E4. I heard the computer say E4, and I'm like, wait a minute, I wanted F4. You can go back, change it, hit fire again. Target locked on. Ready to fire. At four. Those are the coordinates I wanted, so I will fire. And I missed. And play like that will continue until either you or your opponent has lost all of their ships. It's just like classic Battleship. 
The first player to sink all of their opponent's chips win the game. And that is the same for a game with two players as well. Now, one thing that this version does include is an advanced mode that uses advanced weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to a setup for that game. You cannot use advanced weapons against the computer. It has to be against a human opponent. So let's jump to that. For the advanced game, each player will receive five advanced weapons. First, you get three radar pieces. When using the radar, the computer will tell you if there are any ships within this 3x3 three three grid. You will get two salvos. When using a salvo, you will fire five shots in a straight line, either up and down or horizontally, and it will tell you any hits you got within that salvo. And finally, each player gets one torpedo. The torpedo is a guaranteed hit. You will enter the torpedo and then the computer will tell you one coordinate that you have hit. In order to use advanced weapons on your turn, you will cycle through your options using the advanced weapons button on the panel. So let's say we want to use radar. We've selected radar and press fire to confirm. Press fire to confirm. Place the radar in the area that you want to use it. You must be able to place this radar on the board. If you're unable to place it, you can't use it. So let's go ahead and put it right here. And it wants me to enter the center coordinate, which is D2. So now I know there are two ships within this grid. It's the opposite player's turn. Let's have them take their turn and then come back to player one. All right, for this turn, we're going to go ahead and use a salvo. So again, you place that salvo on your grid where you want the salvo to take place. And it must be able to fit along a five dot line. If it can't fit, you can't use it. Let's go ahead and place the salvo right here. And choose that advanced weapon. Radar. Salvo. Preparing to launch the salvo. Enter the first and the last coordinates for salvo attack. Then press fire to confirm. So let's put in J1. Now enter the last coordinates for salvo attack. Then press fire to confirm. All right, our last one is J5. Locked on. Ready to fire. J1 to J5. And fire. The ship has been hit. J1. J2. J3. J4. And J5. Enemy ship eliminated. We sunk their carrier. Woo! Commander. All right, so then it bounces to player two's turn. But since you hit ships with the salvo, you go ahead and place the hit pieces on that salvo piece wherever the hits occurred. In my example, I actually hit every piece of that ship. So I'll put a hit, a hit peg in each hole of the salvo. We'll go ahead and jump to player two's turn and come back for the final advanced weapon. And we're back to player one. I'm gonna go ahead and use my torpedo. When using your torpedo, you will cycle through the advanced weapons. Radar, salvo, torpedo. And hit enter. Preparing to launch the torpedo. Target locked on, ready to fire. And it will tell you one coordinate where there is a ship, and it will be a hit. Commander. 
So you will put your torpedo piece at that coordinate and you will know that that is a hit on a ship. And that's everything you need to know for Electronic Battleship Reloaded. Both the classic version and the advanced version can be played with two players, but only the classic version can be played against the computer. That's important to keep in mind when picking this up. And that's how to play Electronic Battleship Reloaded. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and if you want to go the extra mile, leave a comment down below. All of those things really help us out. If you want to see more board game tutorials, I've got a playlist for you right here. You can dive in and check out all the different games that we have recorded for. And of course, until next time, keep on playing.